Hey everybody, my name is Joe Marco. I'm a solutions engineer here at Alteryx, and at Alteryx, our mission is simple. It's to make analytics effortless. Effortless for builders, effortless for business users, effortless for IT and platform teams. With Alteryx One, that experience becomes accelerated by AI. Faster, more governed, and unified for the cloud age. So how do we make this real? Let's ground it in the key pillars that drive everything we do here at Alteryx. When we look at the Alteryx strategy, it starts with the most important factor, unlocking value for our customers by offering a unified platform that's governed and usage-based so the value grows the more that you use. We want to also unlock data platforms. We want to empower every type of persona, builders, users, end users, business, IT and platform teams with secure access to the modern cloud data stack. And lastly, we want to unlock AI by offering AI embedded capabilities across the Alteryx platform, from, from, from preparing data to analyzing data, sharing insights, automating outcomes. Alteryx One also gives customers the flexibility to bring in their own AI models, all within a governed and trusted framework. Now let's put this into a scenario. A company we'll call for the sake of this conversation, Average Joe's Wine Company. Joe's business is growing faster than he ever could have imagined. But instead of celebrating, he's drowning in data, systems, and pure chaos. Invoices come in in all different file types and templates. They take hours and hours to sift through and manually figure out what data points are important. His sales data is everywhere. With aspirations to get everything into Databricks, there's still so much trouble connecting to data, finding secure ways to find information. His business users are frustrated. They're waiting too long for reports and insights. And IT? Well, they're stretched thin trying to keep everything governed, keep everything under control, and honestly, keep everything afloat. That's exactly where Alteryx One comes in. We're going to talk about unlocking AI to make preparing those invoices effortless. We're going to talk about unlocking data platforms with designer web and live Databricks connectivity. We're going to talk about unlocking value by turning raw data into instant automated insights. And we'll round out with at the core collaboration and governance through plans and administration controls within Alteryx One. So now that we've covered the context of Average Joe's Wine Company, let's jump into our demo and see how this all comes together in the Alteryx One platform. Let's start with Joe's biggest headache, those invoices. They're stored as PDFs in a shared repository, but they vary from customer to customer. And that means hours of manual work or messy scripting to try to figure out how to get the data out. I can point Alteryx, Alteryx directly at that repository to bring the files in effortlessly. And that's the first step. So as you can see here, pointing to the directory of where the files are located. But instead of wrestling now, what do I do from here? It's good to understand with Alteryx One, I can actually use tools like in this case, the PDF to text tool to scrape the invoices automatically. This will get me some of the information that I need, like invoice totals and some of the other information. But as you'll see there, it's still in a format that I need to clean up. So if we talk about going a step further with Gen AI tools, I can connect securely with Alteryx One to a preferred large language model of my choice. I can build a prompt like, hey, you're a data analyst, and I want you to go and find th these fi field types within the information that I provide. Now you'll see within Alteryx One, I have the ability now to say, here is my customer information, here is my their city information, here's delivery fees and invoice totals. So I'm really now working with some data that I can take advantage of. And one of the things I might wanna do is think about what are those next business problems I can answer with this data? So maybe a common question that I think about is, have my customers paid me and have they paid me on time or Joe, I should say, have they paid Joe? So in this example, I'm essentially similarly connecting to a large language model and saying return information on whether payments have been received or not. Using that unstructured data, as you can see, by every invoice, 
Here's not only whether the payment was received, but a potential customer follow-up. So this can help streamline my customer service representatives. For cases where I'm not paid, maybe there's some action plan or some reach out to remind uh, customers about their payment. Another action is maybe auditing that I actually have all the fields I need for my other systems, my other business problems. So in this case, I'm essentially saying, I want you to review what was provided from the extraction that we did previously with AI, and I want you to compare it to what I'm expecting. Did you get all of the correct information? And as you can see here, for every invoice, all of the information was returned properly within the JSON structure that I provided. So more of an auditing example. Last one is thinking about how would I bring this data now into my historical data? So within the Gen AI tools, I can do schema mapping. So I can give it a target source schema and now point my new data and say, I want you to match this data to my expected template. You can see all the transformation steps. You can see what's going to need to happen to convert things like trans transaction uh, number to invoice date. And eventually I now have a workable data set with history and my recent information that I can take further along with all Turks want, maybe in something like Auto Insights. What used to take hours with regular expression formulas can now happen in seconds and in a governed, a governed and transparent way. But we're not quite done yet. What if I wanted to use something like Alteryx One Copilot? Maybe I want to be able to leverage AI to understand what's happening. So let's make an assumption here that I'm asking Alteryx Copilot, assume I'm seeing this workflow for the first time. Hey, can you summarize exactly what's happening here? So think about collaboration. Think about how you work with others with Alteryx today. So what is happening in this workflow? Can you help me understand why it might be important? And maybe can you even offer some directional value? Should I continue to focus on this workflow? Should I continue to monitor it? What kind of cost savings might it be helping with in this organizational, this company context? As I generate that um, co-pilot prompt, you'll be able to see the response is not only guiding me on what the workflow is doing. You can see there, uh, it's looking at the invoice extraction, it's explaining what's happening with the output and the reporting. And it's also now explaining what's important. When it comes to time savings, it's doing some round estimations based off some of the tools that I have that we're saving potentially five to 10 minutes to process the actual injection of the files and then ultimately the extraction and the cleanup even more so. So Copilot now not only allows me to help me build my workflows, add tools to the canvas, but it can help with documentation, optimization, and ultimately value justification. This is Alteryx and designer that you already know, but now supercharged with AI. Analysts move faster, IT can trust the process, and the business gets accurate invoice data in minutes, not hours. Now let's pivot from Alteryx desktop into the Alteryx web experience. What you'll be able to see here is similar experiences, being able to launch Alteryx Designer Cloud or web experience in this case, jumping into a workflow, similar interface, similar tools, now cloud native, governed and connected directly to Databricks. This workflow is running what we call Alteryx Live Query. So no data extracts, no silos. And because it inherits Databricks Unity Catalog, all the governance, the policies, permissions flow through automatically. IT can be happy, analysts are moving faster, nobody's compromising. This specific workflow, I'm bringing in some of my uh, customer review information, as you can see here. And again, there's a snapshot of the data within Databricks, Databricks itself. But I have this customer review data and the reviews themselves, they vary. I have some in English, I have some in various languages from my customer base. I also within Databricks have store information. So now I'm trying to match and marry my accounts to my store locations so I know where these reviews are coming from. So very similarly, I can join that data together within the Alteryx web experience simply. But we can go a step further. Directly inside this workflow, I can call Databricks AI functions. So as an example, I can translate those customer reviews into a common language like English. As you can see here, just showing a few examples of the actual translation. So these are tools that are Databricks oriented AI functions. I'm also able to look at things like sentiment. Are these reviews mixed? Are they positive? I think this one is 
Customer is not sure how they felt, a bit tannic, but will age nicely. And then maybe things like classification, um, based off of the actual product names, should these be classified as red wines, a different other wine, rosé, uh, white wine I think is in here. And very simple to set up as you see in the configuration on the right, I can set up what labels I want and the AI functions are doing the legwork. Now, so far along this journey, we focus primarily on the preparation and cleanup of data. That's great for builders, that's great for IT, but for business users or downstream stakeholders, they don't want workflows, they want the story, they want the insights. So if we think about some of this transactional sales information that we've talked about so far, what if we were to leverage something like Alteryx one auto insights to be able to automatically generate full reports on sales drivers, anomalies, sentiment, customer, competitive intelligence. And now we're getting in the world of no code, no waiting. So at this point, I've taken that prepped sales data, the sentiment information from designer web and pushed it into Alteryx one auto insights. With auto insights, I can automatically generate stories within the data. So right away, if I click here, you're gonna notice that I am referring to a data set, but automatically I can see key trends and product performance. Everything you're seeing, again, Auto Insights automated. Total sales by customer methods. How are people making their payments? Product performance overviews within my data set. Which product perform the best and which are struggling? Cost analysis and margins. As you can see there, my Pinot Grigio, it looks like costs the most, but also generates the most money. And then maybe competitive information. So I have my sales totals. If I had that prep data for my competitive uh, landscape, you can see David's premium wine totals and how is average Joe's competing with David's premium wine over time and trends. So if you think about not only generating those key trends immediately, business leaders don't have to guess. The system highlights the biggest movers, it highlights anomalies, and it helps you take action faster. All we really needed to focus on was preparing and bringing data that we trust to Auto Insights. I'm hopeful by now you're starting to see the power of the Alteryx One platform, and in this case, specifically Auto Insights. No development of custom visualizations, no code, no SQL, no workflow knowledge required in this case. Builders in IT have already created that foundation, which we covered previously, and now business users get to get the trusted, insightful answers automatically. You can see these are more stories. They're not just spreadsheets. They're delivered effort, effortlessly. And ultimately with Alteryx plans, teams can automate workflows. So navigating to create an automated schedule. And it's quite simple. It actually looks like an Alteryx workflow as I show you. In this case, I'm navigating to that web experience workflow. I could bring in a desktop workflow as well and orchestrate that. I'm saying I want this workflow to execute, and when it does, I want to update my Auto Insights dashboard that we talked about previously. And eventually, I want to be able to email or, or generate these. So upon success of these sequential actions, I want to schedule this to run. And it, the beauty of this is I can not only set it on a schedule at a cadence, but I can create custom triggers. So if new data lands, if I get new invoices, I can actually have these types of plans ex execute and again, we're talking about effortless analytics at scale, automated across Average Joe's wine company in this case. Of course, this all has to be governed. In Alteryx One, admins can set roles, they can look at audit logs, they can manage access, they can decide which tools should and should not be accessible to the community. So as you see here, I can oversee who is in my platform, I can navigate to my workspace admin. We talked a little bit about role assignment, but we can actually create custom user groups. We can create custom roles within the platform to help define which parts of the Alteryx One platform should be available to certain types of teams and users. And this becomes really powerful and important when we're talking about certain handling of you know, capabilities within the platform. And unfortunately, our time is coming close to an end here. So let's bring this all full circle. Alteryx One doesn't replace what you already love about Alteryx. It evolves it. We still deliver prep, analysis, reporting, and automation, but now it's unified under one platform. It's infused with AI, connected to the modern cloud data stack, 
and designed for everyone, builders, users, IT, and platform owners. And you think back to Average Joe's and our fun little situational uh, company here. In just a few minutes, we took Joe from drowning in messy PDF scattered sales data to clean invoices to live Databricks insights, automated competitor, competitor analysis, and governed collaboration. In other words, effortless analytics. With the power to unlock value, unlock data platforms, and unlock AI. That's how we help every persona accelerate their journey and unlock the future of analytics.